Mementos from school, sports, and friends pack Kayla Linton's bedroom, a testament to a driven 17-year-old who never slowed down until she developed a cough, congestion, and fever in January. She was just so tired and just laying around. That's not her. She's always active. She works two jobs, does sports. Carrie Linton says a doctor diagnosed her daughter with influenza type A and prescribed rest and over-the-counter medication. The next day, Kayla's symptoms flared up. She said her chest was hurting. So I was like, well, you know what, let me just make sure. And I told her I was going to take her to the hospital, and she agreed to go to the hospital. So we took her up to the St. Agnes emergency room, and they did chest x-rays, and her chest x-rays came back completely clear. Once again, Linton took her daughter home to let the flu run its course. 72 hours later, she says Kayla collapsed in her bedroom. 2.30, 30 seconds from talking to lifeless. Because I replay every single thing in my head over and over and over again. Kayla died at the hospital four days after she was diagnosed with the flu. The autopsy came back. It was um, the flu, complications of septus. Only way I can put it, I think you know, God has a plan. And he wanted her. So I keep telling myself. The Lintons want Kayla to be remembered as a standout student and athlete. So they've established a scholarship fund in her name at Lansdowne High. One fundraiser has already generated over $6,000, and the school is selling these stickers and bracelets to buy new athletic equipment in her name. The Lintons are hopeful Kayla's legacy will extend beyond Lansdowne High by raising awareness about sepsis infection, even in a healthy child like Kayla. If it makes one person you know, a doctor check out a, a little kid even more, or just go that extra step to do blood work just as a precaution to prevent sepsis, then, you know, her death didn't go in vain. Linton's last recommendation, get a flu shot. Kayla did not have one. Kayla would be the one who's hurting, but she would be the one that would be comforting everyone else. Now Kayla's parents are taking comfort in 17 years of happy memories of their sunshine. And the song actually just fit her because that's what she was. She was a sunshine. She just brightened up every room. Carrie Cavanaugh, WBAL, TV 11 News.